bird of the week is the American goldfinch. Common throughout America and southern portions of Canada, the American goldfinch, with its show-stopping yellow and black plumage, is an easy bird to spot during breeding season. During non-breeding season, American goldfinches are much harder to identify, as their brilliant yellow turns a sort of drab olive brown. They molt two times per year, once in later winter, and then again in spring. The brightening of their yellow feathers is a welcoming sign that warm weather is on its way. The short, conical beaks of the American goldfinch are specially designed for breaking seeds. In fact, they are among the strictest vegetarians in the bird world. Their all-plant diet is bad news for the brown-headed cowbirds, who lay their eggs in other birds' nests, hoping someone else will do the feeding. If a brown-headed cowbird hatches in an American goldfinch nest, it usually dies within three days, unable to survive on seeds alone. American goldfinches prefer looking for plant matter in open fields, especially areas with thistles and milkweed. They will happily come to feeders of all sorts for sunflower seeds and niger. The common flight call of the American goldfinch sounds like it's saying potato chip with even cadence, but they also sing long and variable twitters and warbles. They learn new songs throughout their lives. Mated pairs sing almost identical songs. American goldfinches wait until midsummer when plants have gone to seed to nest. Females usually build the nests in shrubs or saplings. They use rootlets and plant fibers to create cups about three inches in diameter. The nests are lined with plant down and wrapped in spider silk, woven so tightly that they can sometimes hold water. The female lays two to seven eggs per brood and incubates them for about two weeks. The chicks stay in the nest for 11 to 17 days before venturing out on their own. American goldfinches do migrate south in the winter, aiming for areas where the temperatures don't drop below zero degrees. Their population is abundant and steady throughout the United States, and they don't mind living in the suburbs so long as their favorite foods are plentiful. So put out some seeds and wait for a visit from the bird of the week. <laughs>